A man of many talents knows how to stick by his best friend's side, even when he's swerving for squirrels. He knows how to throw a mean house party. His girlfriend calls him the mayor of Wellen, and he wears the tightest shirts possible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of Wellen's finest, the best man, Ryan Smutnicki. Very generous. All righty. For those of you who uh, know me, you know I'm not very uh, highly educated. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, I'm going to tell you I'm very educated. Okay? First off, I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight and making uh, Caitlin Scott's special day one to remember. Uh, Caitlin, you look absolutely stunning. You've uh, lit up the property today, I must say. Scott, I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> Kara, Kristen, you girls look wonderful. Jay, Mike, myself, <laughs> we've still got it. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the Tomahawk Club for allowing myself and other meatheads, specifically from table three, to step foot on your beautiful property. Very kind of you. When Scott asked me to be his best man, I says to Scott, I says, what's in this for me? <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was on number one T-block at Lookout. <laughs> All joking aside, I was truly honored and look forward to being a part of this special day. Thank you. I'm nervous. Me and Scotty first met when we were 12 years old. We had both been selected by the Bantam Host League All-Star Team. <laughs> Baseball. Yep, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Host League All-Star Team, <laughs> this was a group of elite Host League baseball players <laughs> whose talent caught the eye of general manager Rick Smutnicki. This was the next best thing to making a travel baseball team. <laughs> Everyone on the team one, had a dream of one day having a dream. <laughs> During that time, me and Scotty played together, we still hadn't officially became friends. <laughs> Four years later, Scotty made a life-changing decision, and that was to transfer to Notre Dame from Centennial High School. <laughs> Murr, let's be honest, dude, you weren't going to win shit at Centennial High School. <laughs> hey, just when Scotty thought he was on an awesome basketball team, he played Meyer. Once, once Scotty came to Notre Dame, it didn't take him long to notice his one-time teammate sat at the cool table. Right? Scotty wanted an in. That in, I still to this day think, like to think it was me. <laughs> me and Scotty quickly became tight, almost as tight as his suit I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> Caitlin, I've been eating bird seed all week. Yes. So over the past 15 years, memory, many great memories have been created. Some of those I will share. Some I simply can't. Right? I'd probably be escorted off the property at Tomahawk if I were to tell them all. Some of those memories include... The time we caused $25,000 damage to your mom's car on lunch break. <laughs> Just coming back from Pizza Hut. Going to all those Sabre games where we never actually did find our seats. The weekend in Ottawa where we carried Hoover around like 
Bernie Lomack. Yeah. Or that time I stuck up for you in Hess Village and had my nose broken by a mini version of Jackie Chan. <laughs> the long weekend spent at Coach Ken's. Going to Cancun, Cuba, Dominican, Vegas, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, with Saga, Grand Ben, I'm out of breath. <laughs> or even that time we tried acid for the first time and went to the Well and Fair. I'm just kidding, folks. We were smarter than that. Yeah. And then came September 2011. I was having a conversation with Scotty, and I learned that we would not be having beers that Saturday because Scott had other plans. I quickly accepted the fact that Scott had become interested in a lady who he described to me as an absolute rocket. <laughs> Oh, and Caitlin, don't think I didn't go on Facebook to have a look myself. <laughs> Scotty went on to further describe Caitlin as really cool, smart, artsy, Ryerson University grad, and most importantly, she was girlfriend material. I immediately became relieved because I was starting to think that Scotty was falling for me. So thank you, Caitlin. In 2012, I watched Scott des destroy Guinness Book of World Records for most times traveled to Paris in one year. <laughs> After meeting Caitlin, I couldn't agree, it, couldn't agree anymore that her and my, my boy Scotty were meant for one another. Thank you, Caitlin, for finding Scotty, stealing his heart, and keeping him from moving from Toronto on me. Scott, I watched you win a Tribune tourney. I watched you win a national championship. I watched you have continued success with RBC. I've watched you sneakishly have silver hair. Yeah. Yeah. Most enjoyably, I've watched you fall in love with the beautiful bride next to you tonight. Ooh, one more. Scotty, here's a few things you should always remember. Yes, you have great hair. Caitlin's hair is nicer. Yes, you have a sweet ride. Caitlin's car is nicer. Yes, you have a national championship, but Caitlin is a world-class dancer. And finally, Caitlin's from Ancaster or from Welland. I'd like to propose a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Murray.